I don't get the same feeling when I'm like making a digital piece until I make a screen print of it or make something physical that I can hold. I think when I first started skating, I was like 10 years old and I didn't even think about a person making the board graphic. <laughs> Mentally, like skateboarding prepares you for being an artist because it's a lot of just like trial and error and changing one little thing to get something right. It's the same thing with like making art. Everything starts with like the sketch before I even draw anything on a block or draw it digitally or anything. While I'm sketching it and trying to figure out like all the mechanics of it, I feel like that part's kind of stressful and I'm constantly like redrawing stuff. But once I like nail down the sketch, then it's kind of more relaxing. My name is Dylan Goldberger and I've been like an illustrator for 10 years. I was really drawn to woodcuts just from the like bold look of them. Like, I guess the main difference between uh, just like a regular drawing and a woodcut is drawing your kind of, at, it's like additive process where a woodcut's like a reductive process. Instead of adding the lines you want, you're taking away what you don't want. Yeah, you kind of have to wrap your head around what you're carving is going to be the negative space rather than the positive space. I guess my biggest influence would be Dennis McNett. Uh, I had him as a teacher when I went to Pratt and he pretty much introduced me to printmaking. I started working as an artist assistant with Dennis and he kind of like showed me the ropes of how to like make a living off of it. I met Pat Smith kind of right when I graduated school. I'm not even sure when or how it happened, but now I'm doing art direction for them full time. So these are all Coda skateboard graphics. It was back when Max Palmer rode for them. I think this is like one of his first pro boards. This was the first graphic I ever did, like a series that fit together. Came up with kind of the square of this shape first to do the board graphics, and then wanted to make a print out of it. So I tacked on the sides and made it like a full oval shape. This is another graphic I did for Coda. This is the original lino cut block for it. So this is linoleum, regular linoleum that you'd use for your floor. It holds a little bit more detail. You can get these like, real fine lines, but it can crack. You can see this one's a little damaged. Turn this one into an animation where this guy's like turning the barbecue skewer and the fire's kind of going. I've always drawn animals like my whole life and I feel like I, I suck at drawing people. <laughs> it just comes easier to me. I also think like the woodcut textures like lend itself really well to animal scales and fur and hair and stuff. A lot of people think I'm vegan or vegetarian because of this and a bunch of my work. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe in like 2014 or 15, Eric Ellington gave me a call to do Death Wish boards. Amy from KCDC showed him my work and he called me up and I like didn't even believe it was him. So the first series I did with them was called Delicacy. It was a bunch of farm animals eating a farmer. It was right when I was doing a bunch of animal-human role reversal things in this series called Retribution. Where I worked with Eric and he pretty much gave me like free range of whatever I wanted. I think I was really lucky like right out of school just working with companies doing graphics. This is like the first major series I did for a skateboard company. I had a show at KCDC with some pages from a book I was working on about skateboarding dogs, and Jamal Williams approached me to do graphics for Hops. On the pages of the books, it had all these like alliterations on them. It's an alphabet book where each dog is doing a skateboard trick from the same letter of the alphabet. So this is the Basset Blast a Backside Boneless on a Brick Banked Barrier. Japanese Chin Jabs a Judo off a Janky Jump Ramp. Oh, this was a Ray Barbie photo. And Newfoundland Nails a Gnarly No Can Fly. So these are all for high water skateboards, a company out of Boston. From the, the start of their company, I've done, I think, a board graphic for every drop they've done. We try to like keep all the themes around water. This graphic was based on this woman named Ida Lewis. She would row out into the ocean and save sailors from storms. She's down there in this little rowboat. This is the drool party graphic. Yeah, this is one of my favorite graphics I've made. It was also like one of the most challenging screen prints I've done. I don't usually use halftones that much. And this one has a lot of hidden stuff in it. We actually made like a whole list on the top graphic of stuff to find in it. Nature calls, peeing in the pool. The shotgun setter, shotgun and a beer right there. Who's candy bar? These two guys arguing over that poop in the pool. 
blaming each other. So many boxes. Uh, these are the second series I did with Death Wish. They hit me up about doing tarot cards. I was working on this series right when Lizard King had his baby. So kind of like right at the last minute, I had it all done and they asked me to add this little baby in. I threw him in there on the stick. These were the sticker pack that came with them. My latest project is this book and print series based around classic country music. I took uh, like a classic country artist and album cover and kind of reinterpreted it as an animal with like a pun on their name. Squirrel Haggard instead of Merrill Haggard. It's backwards because it prints forwards. Bobby Bear, Bear spelt like bear. It all comes packaged in this box set, kind of like an album would. It's titled Four Legs, Wings and Stick Strings. This one was limited to 250 copies. So these are the woodcut covers that you see here. And then they're kind of paired with like a pen and ink drawing. One of my favorites is the very first one I did, which is this Whalen and Wooly off of Whalen Jennings and Willie Nelson. Yeah, so a lot of the board graphics I do, I make screen prints and woodcuts of them. And they're up on my website and in my Etsy store at dylangoldberger.com. <laughs>